Welcome everyone to another Star Wars The Old Republic video and I hope you guys are enjoying the new servers and having some fun and definitely there will be some videos coming out about that soon. However, in this video we're going to be talking about getting some free stuff. Especially now that the servers have merged and everyone's going to be wanting some flashy outfits to show off. And the very first free item guys is the Special Forces Armor Set. This is the Battlefront 2 promotional armor set. I just realized uh, also that the upper body armor... Uh, maybe the helmet a little bit too is actually going off the inferno squad design from battlefront 2 and uh, the helmet is a uh, is a reskin of basically the fighter pilot helmet that everyone got however the upper body armor is kind of cool and all in all it's a really good looking imperial armor set and so you can actually get this for free using the promotional code special forces you'll see it up on the screen here if you go on redeem a code at swordar.com type in this you will receive the armor set immediately by mail to every single character you've created and i do believe it will also be mailed to every single new character you create as well this is only happening until November 20th okay so you only have until November 20th to redeem this code so make sure you do so you so you can get your free armor set and a lot of people thought this was going to be only a promotional item for people who pre-ordered the game and that's a reasonable expectation however um this is actually being given to free giving given free to everyone and I do believe it's also free for free to play and preferred players so if you are free to play or preferred try using this code I do believe you'll get the free armor set as well and if you pre-ordered the uh, Star Wars Battlefront 2 game with the expectation of getting this you might want to cancel your pre-order if that was the reason you did so but in any case I think it's awesome everyone's getting this free armor set. I personally thought it was going to be a cartel market item or something. Uh, in terms of the armor set itself, you'll see it up on the screen here, looks pretty cool, but there's nothing really special about it. It's not bound to legacy, which means it doesn't have any other use other than uh, just for the aesthetic appeal. It does, of course, have the customizable slots for you to put in your armorings and stuff, but um, I thought this was going to be bound to legacy. That would have been a little bit cooler because then it has that use beyond just being an armor set. But in any case, once again, guys, November 20th, okay? I want to emphasize, make sure you guys use the code before then. There's only 10 days since I upload this video, so. And the next main thing I want to talk about here is actually the Darth Hexid Companion. So this is another free companion that you can get just by doing some very few and minor activities in-game. Darth Hexid is the companion back from the Dark vs. Light event, I believe, a year ago. And so um, she was a companion that we didn't get because the light side won. But she's now going to be available to all players regardless of whether you are a subscriber, free to play, or preferred. So everyone can get this companion. Uh, this companion will be available to achieve from now until November 27th. So you have until November 27th to get this companion. And the way you can do that is simply play three war zones, okay? So log in and play three war zones or three PVE missions using Group Finder. So those PVE missions can be flashpoints or uprisings or whatever you choose. But after you have played three of them, you will receive an achievement and then you will receive your companion after November 28th. So you won't get your companion right away, you'll have to wait, but you will have gotten the achievement and therefore you will have uh, basically gotten the companion, you just need to wait until it's mailed to you. You only need to complete the three missions on one character, it will uh, unlock legacy wide. So if you do it on one character, you will not just get the companion on that one character, you'll get it for everyone. The um, companion will be mailed to all of your characters and also it will be mailed to all of the new characters you create as well. Now, Darth Hexit is described to be a very bloodthirsty uh, Sith type of companion, but of course, Jedi can use her as well. Uh, she's going to be fighting for the Alliance because she hates the cool. She's always willing to take up enemies. I'm reading off of the description here. And um, Bioware considers her to be a powerful asset, and she can be achieved via story. So it's not just this random companion you're being given, but if you do want to go through the story cutscene and get her kind of through the story way, you do need to have completed Knights of the Eternal Throne. So if you've completed Knights of the Eternal Throne, then you can go to Odessa after November 28th, and you can find her in the cantina, talk to her, and recruit her that way. If you have not completed Knights of the Eternal Throne, you can still get Dark's Darth Hexed, you will just be mailed that one token and then you use that token and you will just get her right away. But it's kind of weird because you don't get her via the actual story. 
So once again, guys, make sure you do the three PVE or PVP missions by November 27th to get this companion. She's really cool. She comes with these the cool and Inquisitor armor and also the unstable Arbiter's dual saber. So she's a companion like Jaysa Wilson who we, uh, wields a dual saber. And there's a lot of cool stuff you can do with that, you know, giving her Cathar, on, uh, Cathar War Staff and other cool things. So it's definitely a nice companion to have and very, very easily obtainable for everyone, regardless of whether you're a subscriber or not. So I hope you guys are enjoying the server merges. I hope you guys are going to enjoy these free items. Uh, I hope these all help this video answers all of your questions. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section and I'll see you guys in the next video.